Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Corin, also known as the Gitten Choreographer, and I'm a teen with a passion for animal rescue and, in particular, kitten rescue. So today's video is kind of a controversial one, and I'm not ready for the slew of comments that are going to be telling me I'm wrong. But, the title kind of made it seem like... It's me? It's me is being loud. The title kind of made it seem like I could go either way. The answer is no could not go either way. The only correct answer is kitten formula. I'm going to flat out say, do not feed your kittens goat's milk unless it is an absolute emergency. Here's why. Goat's milk is way, way too low in fat and protein for baby kittens. The reason is that goat's milk is made for baby goats, not baby kittens. I've heard a slew of arguments against me, and none of them quite follow through with their claims. The main one that I have been attacked personally of people like telling me that, you know, saying this argument and them just telling me that I'm stupid for thinking kitten formula is better is that goat's milk is natural while kitten formula is man-made and therefore not good. They even compared it to a Pop-Tart. Like, you wouldn't feed a Pop-Tart to your kid for breakfast because, like, an apple is so much better. Natural does not equal better. If everything was better natural, we would have no modern houses, no vaccines or modern medicine, or so many other things. I am a big believer in man-made stuff a lot of the time, and this is one of those cases. In this case, man-made is quite a lot better for these kittens. These kitten formulas aren't just thrown together either. They're formulated by scientists and veterinarians in order to give these kittens the best chance possible. And goat's milk, it, it's great for baby goats. It's great for baby goats, I will say that, but it's not good for kittens. If we're gonna go really natural, we'll just say, oh, let's just feed humans raw meat. That's the most natural you can get. You see, the logic isn't there. I brought Minnie and Mickey in here and moved Sunny to the garage, and this is Mickey. He's so big. Hi, Mickey. In this case, man-made is so much better because the kitten formula is formulated exactly for kittens' nutritional needs, while goat's milk is formulated for goat's needs. And the main reason I think of is goats don't eat meat. Goats eat plants, so goat's milk is made from what the mama goat eats, which is plants, whereas cat's milk is made from what the mama cat eats, which is meat. And of course, I didn't mention this, I totally should have always feed the mama cat's milk if possible, but I know I talk about orphaned kittens, and so this is in the case that there's not a mama cat possible. Kitten formula is made to simulate mom's milk, which mom's milk is made from, theoretically, like starts with meat because the cat should be eating meat. Goat's milk made from plants, mom's milk made from meat, and kitten formula simulates that. Another argument I've heard is looking into the ingredients of the kitten formulas. They say it's just dried skimmed milk, just dried skimmed cow's milk, and cow's milk is really bad for kittens. They know that. You know, everyone should know that cow's milk is really bad for kittens, but it's just cow's milk, and so it's automatically bad for kittens. But it's not just cow's milk. While dried skimmed cow's milk, I was looking at the ingredients of Kmar, it is pretty high up on the list, but it's not just pure cow's milk. It's dried skimmed cow's milk mixed together with a bunch of different ingredients that are all made for kittens, or that all come together to make something that is made for kittens. And the dried skimmed cow's milk is not the same as pure cow's milk, especially when mixed with all those other ingredients. Kitten formula has a ton of other ingredients in it. Mickey's in the litter box, sorry about that. But kitten formula has a ton of other ingredients combined together, all made for kittens, developed by scientists, where cow's milk doesn't have that. I wanted to bring up the topic of tail spring, which is a new kitten formula made from goat's milk. I don't like it. I do not like it. I am all for innovations and new formulas and new discoveries to make kittens' lives better, but this formula, not it. It was not tested well, very obviously, and it was just seems kind of thrown together. I know someone that has tried tail spring that had a horrible experience. The bare basics of it not being good was that it didn't mix well, but like that's something you can get over. What you can't get over is that perfectly healthy kittens were given liquid, really bad diarrhea from this. And I'm just not going to trust it at all. I'm just not after knowing someone that had a really bad experience like that. Just because there are 
so many better options out there. And this video is just about kitten formula in general. I can do another video more in depth on which kitten formula I like best. I have one more kitten formula I would like to try before doing that video. So I don't know when it'll come out. One thing is I feel like the main reason goat's milk is promoted for kittens is because it's so much cheaper than kitten formula. You can buy goat's milk at the supermarket. You know, it's cheap, it's pre-mixed, it, it's more convenient, I'll be honest, but that doesn't mean it's better either. You can budget on some things when it comes to kittens, but you can't budget on what you feed them. And if you can't feed them what's nutritionally appropriate, that's not good. One thing I will state is that in an emergency, meaning you've gone to like 15 different stores and they are all out of kitten formula, or you live in a country where they don't sell kitten formula, or you have to ship it and it takes a while, then goat's milk can be used for just a couple days until you can get kitten formula. But goat's milk should not be used long term. It is not have the nutritional benefits that the kittens need. And yeah, that's my stance on that. This video is gonna be short, but I am gonna talk about like, if you attack me in the comments over this, you're gonna be deleted. I have kindly educated people before, or tried to, or people have asked the question, goat's milk or kitten formula, and I just like educate them. And then I'll have other people just attack me over it. And I'm just not in the mood for that right now. So I, I'm not going to hesitate with the block button or the delete button if people are just being mean. Also, if you cite a few very specific sources that I think about that people have cited before, those are not reliable sources. So I'm going to link below reliable sources that I got my information from for this video. And I'm also gonna link some kitten formulas that are good for kittens. <laughs> So yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I'm sorry it was short, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe for more kitten-related content. I upload on Sundays and Wednesdays if I can, and if I can't, I upload whenever I want to. Thank you so much for watching again, and goodbye!